Yo, what's going on guys, and welcome to the MMA Empire. As usual, I will try to provide a link in the description to either the fight or to the archive videos after the fight for you guys to watch at your own leisure. It's getting hard to find those though, I mean, UFC is really cracking down the last thing I wanted for my channel to get in trouble for it, so we'll have to see about that. With that said, holy crap, I cannot believe it, finally Ian McCall versus Demetrius Johnson. Now, I don't know how many of you guys actually know these dudes because they're flyweights. I mean, you know, it's a new division to the UFC. Uh, they don't even have a champion right now yet. Um, but that's what this fight is somewhat to determine because the winner of McCall versus Johnson is going to fight Joseph Benavidez, who's already won his, uh, his fight. And then the winner of Benavidez versus either Johnson or McCall will become the new flyweight champion and you know McCall is like one of my all-time favorite fighters I mean the dude's just so unique I mean his nickname is Uncle Creepy uh, for crying out loud I mean <laughs> the dude's just so funny with his handlebar mustache and he is like an absolutely outstanding fighter um I mean, the, the dude's just great. I mean, he's flyweight. You know, how can you not love the flyweights? They're so fast and intense. And uh, he's actually really, really well-rounded. He's 11-2 and two right now. Um, four wins by knockout, three wins by submission, and four by decision. Um, he also has one loss by submission, and uh, he has one loss by decision. But, you know, Johnson's record is actually overall even better than McCall's. He's 14-2, and two, three wins by knockout, Four by submission and five by decision two losses by decision so I mean you know this is gonna be awesome I mean the first time they fought was at UFC on FX um, Alves versus Campman and um, I, it's like you know they already had one draw they're both so good and now they're going back for round two I mean this is gonna be sick and this is you know for a title shot you know what I'm saying like this this fight could not get any more intense. I mean, two absolutely outstanding flyweights battling out for a title shot to determine, you know, the flyweight champion. I mean, this is going to be sick. Uh, no matter who wins, um, I'm going to be a happy man. I, I'm going to be absolutely happy. Personally, I want Ian McCall to win. I mean, I'm rooting for him. He's one of my all-time favorite fighters. He's actually ranked uh, number one flyweight by Sharedog right now, so... You know, uh, that just goes to show, if you haven't heard of him, um, you know, what the uh, MMA community thinks of him. But personally, you know, I, <laughs> this fight could go either way. Both these guys have knockouts. Both these guys have submissions. Both these guys had decision victories. I mean, you know, it's it, I almost don't even want to make a prediction because I feel like it's going to be so hard to predict. Um, but, you know, honestly, I think this fight's going to go the distance. I, I These guys want this so bad. Um... You know, I mean, Benavidez, is that it's going to be a tough fight, but whoever wins this gets that shot, and uh, whoever wins that's the title holder. So this is a huge, huge fight for both these gentlemen. And, uh, you know, I think this is going to go the distance. I don't think either of them are going to get a knockout um, or a submission. I definitely think that, you know, if there is a knockout, it's definitely going to be on McCall's terms, and if there's a submission, it's going to be on uh, Johnson's terms. But I think it's going to go the distance, and, uh, you know, I don't, I, I don't even want to make a prediction here. I mean, it was already a draw the first time when it went the distance. So I don't know, but um, if I had, <laughs> I don't know, if I had to pick a fight though, or a fighter, I think, I don't know, I I mean, it's so hard to say. I feel like McCall is going to be able to squeak this out. I mean, between uh, Johnson's previous fight with uh, McCall, his fight before that was a loss against Dominic Cruz. So he's coming off, coming off a loss and a draw, so not very rewarding. When right now McCall is on a four-fight win streak with the draw. So he has a lot of momentum behind him. So, I, you know, I feel like uh, Moore is riding on Johnson, at least personally. He's going to really feel like he has to pull this victory off or it's going to be like three useless fights in a row. Um, but, you know, McCall, the dude is just on a tear, so it's kind of hard to say. Uh, but, I, you know, I'm going to go with McCall. Uh, I'm going to go with McCall decision victory here. And if not, uh, I'll be totally okay with it. I mean, you know, Johnson, he's, you know, he's, he's a fighter. <laughs> Regardless of who wins this, I'm going to be happy, but McCall is definitely one of my all-time favorites. Uh, so it will be a little heartbreaking if he doesn't get it. But anyways, with that said, guys, I want to thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, please feel free to share it with your buddies. Um, you know, Hopefully, I'll have the link in the description uh, as soon as I get it, either the night of the fight or the night after the fight. So that way, you guys can watch all the fights, you know, like archived or whatever, at your leisure, whenever you want. But anyways, thank you guys very much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to stay up to date with future UFC videos. And uh, other than that, have a great day. Peace.